all right all right everybody what's going on what is happening today holy shit guys it is hot here in texas i tell you what i have um oh shit what the hell amy artist thank you for the following or er, following thank you for following my channel uh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Let me send you a uh, quick shout out. It is hot here in Texas, guys. It is so hot. It is actually 111 degrees. And it is crazy. It is downright unpleasant. You're a graphic game designer and animator. Do you want logo, banner, emos, overlays? I tell you what. I will give you a holler. I will give you a whisper chat. Uh, I don't need anything right now at the moment, but I do appreciate you advertising it to me. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I hope you're staying cool because here in Texas, see, I live in North Texas. It is hot as hell. It is hot, hot, hot. Make a few adjustments here. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, my day job is I work in the gig economy, and here for the past several weeks we had a major heat advisory of 105 to 112 degree weather, and it's very abnormal for this time of year. I know with it being summertime. Uh, can I make you a logo banner? Uh, you can if you want, if it's free. Now you know if you want to, you know, test it out and send it to me. That's all good. I actually had someone make me a banner before. If you buy a logo from me, you get banner free with it. Oh, okay. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to pass up on it just for now. Just for now. I also have other banners there. But I do appreciate your advertising it, like I said to me. I really do appreciate that. All right, let's get my game going here. Hey, did anything happen? Did you remember to get mom's mail? All right. Oh, I'm streaming, by the way. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. I was telling everybody, it is hot as hell out here. It is. All right. Come on now. It's been a while since I actually streamed. It's It's been, what, almost three weeks? Usually I stream about 7.30 or 8 o'clock, but I figured since I met my quota for the day for the gig economy, I just figured what the hell. Emily Artis, you draw a hard bargain. You really do, but uh, like I said, not right now. Like I said, I do appreciate it. You can send me a private uh, uh, whisper on here, or you can actually go to my Twitter and send me a message on there. And um, I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you further there. All right, we are 30 in the queue. We shouldn't take too much longer. Katie Brunt, uh, you're on Twitter, but if you happen to follow into my channel, thank you for the, uh, for the like. I follow you on Twitter. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for that. I also have a TikTok too if you want to follow me on that too. If you want to, just scroll down and I have all my other uh, social media on there too. But I'm mostly active on TikTok and Twitter. Those are my top two. Is it hot enough out there for you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Net see. My wife, she's not saying anything to me much because I'm streaming. She doesn't want to be heard, do you? <laughs> You. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's see here. Okay. I've beaten this game time and time again, but I love this game so much. I also, um, I'm doing it from the Black Mage perspective. We are in Little Alamigo here. Oh, you're welcome, Emily. You're welcome very most welcome I like to speed run through some of these conversations now unless if it's voice acted I will leave it on there I won't speed through it all right level 27 
We need to speak to the youths here. It's just velocity. Thank you for that like on my Twitter channel. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I gotta go to the other side here. I could probably play this game blindfolded. I've played it so damn much and beaten it. I don't think playing it from the Black Mage perspective is any different from uh, Dragoon and um, White uh, White Mage. I haven't beaten the game yet with White Mage or Conjurer. It's a little challenging because you got to try to keep everybody alive, and that's always a challenge. Ooh, wait a minute. Gotta go on the other side here. I hope you guys are staying warm, especially here in the Texas area. It is very, very hot. I cannot stress that enough. Please drink plenty of water. I've been drinking so much water, I'm drinking green tea right now. I had to get me some flavor up in me. I'm sick of water right now. I'm going to have to get some here later. Uh, high po let's do high potions. Why not? I'm going to have to really utilize my uh, potions. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let me check my inventory. I'm going to set it to a hot bar. Uh, set it there. I thought I already had this shit set, but for some strange reason... Um, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> so I actually had to find myself resetting a couple of things. Ooh. Hold on, where's that at? Okay, it's just on the outside, so I may want to go out this way. I think we're going to run into like a little mini battle. You always want to keep potions with you. Unless if you're a white mage, you know, you can heal yourself at any given time. But yet, when you go into raids, man, you gotta try to keep everyone else alive, and that's, like I said, always a challenge. I'm trying not to get detected here. Damn! Oh shit. Some big son of bitches. I actually forgot how big these things are. There's actually a real huge one um, if you do those um, those bonus things, bonus challenges. Oh, I love that move. We'll just fast travel there. I'm not gonna waste my time going all the way over there. Oop, wait a minute. Wrong way. It's always good to look at your map, that way you won't get lost. But even with the map, sometimes you uh, can't see where you're going. As crazy as that says. Or as crazy as that sounds. Alright. Knock my Nintendo Switch over. I always get silver pieces. I always collect these. That way when I go to um, the blackboard, I'll be able to get more shit. Alright. 
God, we gotta speak to more youth people. Or ascertain. You can't really see what it says because of that little symbol right there symbolizing the black mage. You know, they at least could have... Well, hold on. Let me see something. It doesn't say what that is. You would have to go right here to look for it if you can't fully see it. I think that's bullshit. They should have, you know, they should have, like, moved that. Okay, hold on for a second. Hold on. Something's not right. Uh, I don't know why that's like that. Hang on. I was wondering why my screen was like that. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Just a second. I'm not feeling this. I'm going to make that smaller there. All right, let's uh, try that now. Okay. For some strange reason, it's not really on the... Wait a second. I thought I'd fix that. I thought I'd fix that. Oop, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Uh... I believe that's just about as best as I can get it. For some strange reason, um, it was showing real small on my OBS, so that should be good now. Let me get it back to my uh, creator dashboard here. That was interesting. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Hold on. It looks like it's placed right under the last tipper spot. It's pretty large on the PC. Oh, okay, so are you able to see it? By the way, Hollywood, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, man. I always do a test run before I do this shit. Yep, you can see it. Okay, cool. How's your day going? It is hot as fuck, dude. I'm telling you. It. Man. Alright, hold on. Okay, there we go. It's been a minute since I streamed, but uh, I've also been making that money. It's been like, what, almost, what, three weeks? Yeah, it's way too hot to be outside, that's for sure. D dude, it has gotten to um, 111 where I'm at. Up here in the D-Town, man, it is fucking hot. I'm sweating in cracks and crevices. I didn't think I would. And yes, I did say that on my live stream because <laughs> it's the truth. Oh, it is the truth. Out here working in the gig economy, man, it is just... Uh, I've witnessed blowouts. A lot of people on the highways, their tires uh, blew up and shit. I was like, oh, damn. So uh, the type of work I do, you really need to be careful. But it's just, it's just too damn hot. But it's not just here in Texas. It's actually around the country, too, around the world, especially towards the equator. And we're not even in the heart of summer yet. August is the worst month. 
for uh, summer. It is by far. Oh man, you ain't lying there. I don't have AC in the car. Say, oh damn, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't be getting in it. I would not be getting in it. So I'm like, if anyone wants to go somewhere and it's after 10 a.m., I'm like, nah, I'll pass. Hell yeah. I actually, for, you know, I do have AC in my car, but like most people, I don't run it 24-7. I don't. You know, you'll mess up a whole lot of shit in your vehicle. So what I normally do is, is I run it for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll turn it off for five to 10 minutes to let it regenerate. And then I'll cut it back on again for another 15, 20 minutes, depending on how long I'm in the vehicle for. It'll really save you some Freon. And if you're in the house, uh, I have black curtains all around my house. My windows are down, my ceiling fans are spinning counterclockwise. That way the AC that's on, it'll push the air down that way to make the house a lot cooler. But the thing about it is, see, here's the thing. It is so hot outside. The temperature of my house right now is about 78, 78 degrees. I keep it about 75. It's still, it's still hot, typically in my house. Now at nighttime, oh yeah, we keep it about a good 68, 67 degrees. But see, what I usually do is, is uh, at the brink of day, I leave the AC on, but um, I push up the temperature to about 80 degrees, if that makes sense. That way, with the AC unit off and the ceiling fans running, it will still stay cool, but the temperature slowly increases, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that did make sense or not, but, you know, I try to save on my energy bill because you're really going to need it. Hold on, wait a minute. Where am I going? Okay, I got to go outside. Seventy-eight is pretty comfortable. That's where we usually keep our temperature during the daytime. All windows have been blacked out. Curtains and blackout blinds. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now, my mom, at her house, she has tinfoil. And uh, my youngest son in his back room, his window is actually the coolest in the whole house because he's got uh, his um, windows completely blanketed with tinfoil. Now that's the ghetto way of doing it, but I may have to do it to the living room. I, I may have to get with my wife here and uh, talk to her about that. In case if you didn't want, uh, if you were wondering, uh, Shark Month, I got it on the uh, National Geographic show. They have all day sharks from until August, I believe. All right, let's get some battling in. I'm doing this from the black mage perspective. Tell you what, let's go to him first. Let's clear the ads up first. By the way, Hollywood, did you uh, participate in the TwitchCon that recently happened? They have it advertised and they had it broadcast live on uh, on Twitch, of course. They actually had some pretty cool events. There we go. All right, let's get him now. 
Oh, we got more people. Got him. Don't let up. the Amsterdam stream but the one for US is in October yeah I know the one in October and you whoa coming back from Jamaica oh my dude what you going down to Jamaica what's down there man you and the wife going that's a hell of a trip right there I've actually I've never been I've never been to Jamaica That's outside the country right there. Okay, there we go. We're going on a cruise from my... Oh, your birthday. Oh, okay. Well, happy early birthday. I hope you uh, guys have a wonderful trip down there. Anywhere out of the state. I've been as far as Cancun, Mexico, Athens, Greece, and I've been to um, Czechoslovakia. My dad was in the military, so I got to travel with him. But in the States, uh, I've been almost everywhere in this country, but you know, when it comes to traveling outside, I've only been to those few places. Last year, yeah, I remember you were going to uh, Las Vegas, you and your wife. Honestly, it's very reasonable with pricing. Very good, very good. I'm gonna have to renew my passport. But I haven't really been anywhere this year. This year, it's just, mm -mm. it's too hot. And, you know, with school starting back up here pretty soon, I just obtained a list of the school supplies that my kids need to go back to school. So probably towards the end of this month, I'll be getting their supplies as well as clothes and all that shit. Excuse me. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that. i really be looking forward for them to going back to school because... The food bill in this house is ridiculous. Talk about kids eating you out of house and home, man. My kids, they'll do it for you. <laughs> I got two boys that are always hungry, raiding the refrigerator, eating the bologna. <laughs> Damn. My wife, she got a whole thing of Tortino's pizza, and my oldest ate them all within three days. Three days. But if they weren't eating the way they are, then uh, I would know something would be wrong with them. So at least they're healthy. We'll skip that. We are at level 27. Now my black mage level is 34. You wanna try to keep your level as high as possible to, to continue the story. It's in the building. <laughs> so true, those little pizza bites are pretty good though. I know I can put some 
of those away myself. Oh no, we're talking about the Tortino's pizza, the actual, the, the square rectangular pizzas, the combination triple meat. Now we do have the Tortino's pizza rolls, but you know, I told my wife, I said, let's kind of change the game up a little bit. Let's switch it up and get the pizza, the actual pizza instead. Because those pizza rolls were becoming a, um, a daily routine. Right. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh, I haven't been there yet. Okay. So we can either go to Gradania or we can go here, but my home is actually Gradania, so let's uh, go there for free and then travel from there to uh Falgord. Man, the square pizza is where it's at. Hell yeah, man. That is where it's at, especially the um the triple meat, the combination, and the supreme. I'm telling you, that's some good shit. Oh, you got Mario Party Superstars today at Best Buy. Oh, I've actually, I have it on my Switch. I played it a couple times, but uh, my kids played more than me. The only time I actually play anything on my Switch is um, uh, Mario Maker 2. But even that's been a while. There's a deal when you buy that, you get a free one year online membership. I already have one. <laughs> I already got a membership uh, because I do play the classical games like the Sega Genesis and the uh, Super Nintendo and the regular NES that's on there. Oh yeah. There are actually some games that are actually on my emulator that I play, but there's a lot more when you get the membership and stuff. I should have went to that blackboard to see if I could upgrade my stuff. Uh, oh, this is level 25, 31, 31, 31, 26, 27, 15. Yeah, I gotta upgrade some shit. Gas prices lowering in Texas. Yes, they are, my dude. What's going on, Jets Keys? It's good to see you. How's everything going? Get you a shout out. There we go. Everybody's been playing. Okay. Everybody has been playing Roblox. My, both my boys, they be playing Roblox like crazy. All right, hold on for a second. Okay, there it goes. I don't know what the deal is with Roblox. There's like thousands of games that are on there. And if my youngest son and my oldest son ain't playing it on their iPad or phone, they're on my PC playing it. But there's not really a difference between PC and iPad format. There's some pretty fun looking modes in the game. I need to get around to playing it. Uh, I don't really have, um, what am I trying to say here? I've played it a couple of times, but every time I get a chance to play it on PC, my youngest son runs up and shoves me out of the way so that he can play it on PC. I've played a little bit of it. Yeah, there's first person shooting game on it that you enjoy. There's actually one that uh, has something to do with building mansions. And uh, you can uh, upgrade your mansions with a certain amount of money. And uh, I usually play that with my boys. You know, I actually I have it on my phone. And you can actually go into other people's houses and, um, you know, I guess go exploring. But the thing about it is, uh, what they should have did is uh, you can take other people's money and take their furniture or whatnot and apply it to your other mansions or whatever, if that makes sense. It has a lot of simulator tycoon games that I like. Oh, yeah. There's one game that's called... Um, Fallen Skeletons or something like that. My youngest son likes to play that where you actually jump off a cliff and you fall to see how many. It's called Broken Bones. Yeah, I think it's called Broken Bones. He likes to play the hell out of that. And I'm thinking, what sense does it make to fall off a damn mountain breaking your bones? <laughs> I still don't understand it, but they, they love it. So I let them play it. It keeps them occupied. So um, it's one thing. Where am I going? Oh, okay. I haven't attuned to that one yet. Okay, cool. 
But it seems like Roblox is like the new gaming thing for uh, the younger generation, I guess. My oldest son, he normally plays uh, Fortnite and Rocket League, but ever since he downloaded Roblox, he's been playing that every single day. I'm talking every day. <laughs> Roblox stream soon. Uh, are you trying to say that you can stream Roblox? Well, I know you can stream Roblox, I think. I think I've seen somebody else stream it. I think. I think. If anything else, it's like Fortnite. But I don't know enough about it. I should. Um. Yeah, you can stream it. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. I'll think about it. It's just one of those games that um, you have to pique my fancy. You know, it has to pique my interest. I need to soothe this guy. I'll think about it. I, I will definitely think about it because no, I don't really know what to do except that one where you build mansions and shit. But we'll definitely see. Let me see what the temperature is outside real quick. The temperature should be coming. Oh no. It is 107 degrees outside right now. And it's 651. Oh shit. Okay. So I gotta go outside and slay these damn beasts. I don't like this part of the game because of the map. But yeah, it's not just Texas. It's not just our area. It's everywhere. So as hot as it is right now, you can bet your ass we're going to have a cold ass winter. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. We're going to have major ice storms and all that shit due to the fact of how hot it is right now in the summer. It won't go down until like 3 a.m. to <laughs> yeah, 85 degrees. I believe it. I, I truly believe it. Let's do... Whoa! Hang on. Okay. I'm trying to target these people. But yeah, Jets Keys, about the uh, gas prices, I did a TikTok about it. Um... I think it's what, 385 a gallon now? I'm gonna have to ask my wife what's the gas prices here in Dallas. I do need to put gas in my car. What the fuck? Oh, my MP's low. Alright, there we go. I'm sitting here trying to cast a uh, fire and my damn MP's low. Alright, there we go. It's gonna have no effect yet. Oh shit! Okay. Let's, um. Uh, okay, here we go. I really thought I was gonna die right there. All right, there we go. We're good now. I'm gonna have to ask my wife how much gas is. Rebecca, do you know how much gas is right now? Hang on. I couldn't hear you. I really gotta fix this controller. For some strange reason, the joystick, it doesn't stick or anything, but if you leave it like this, if you wait a few seconds, it'll go like this, as you can see. You see that? I don't wanna have to unscrew the controller. It's one of those controllers that have the little rough things on the handles there. 
I don't know if y'all noticed, but I keep, you know, pushing it up like that. Oh, shit. I didn't atone to that, did I? Hell no. Nah. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> that should have been the first thing I did, man. Might have a little dust under the analog stick. You know what? Hold on. I do have canned air, so let's let's try it. You know, the same thing happened to my other controller. I actually have it in my closet. Oh shit. What the fuck? Shit! Hang on. Let me get to town first. I still have the other controller. This one was like almost, what, $70. And I've been having this one for a few months, but not long enough for it to be acting up like this. Let's go up here. All right, we're gonna test it. Now I'm gonna go down on it. Let's wait a few seconds. See, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> No, that wouldn't it, my dude. That wouldn't it. I'll probably have to look at a YouTube video, I guess, to see if I can fix that. I have no problem raising the camera back up. I know that may seem aggravating to some viewers. I do apologize. But, um, I mean, it is what it is. I don't want to have to buy a whole other controller because of it. I mean, there's got to be a way to fix that. All right, there's two of them. Let's grab both of them. All right, we gotta go hunting. It's not like you can uh, hook up a, well not hook it up, but do like a wireless PS4 controller. It has been so long since I actually got my hands on a PS4 controller. My wife actually owns PS4. I mean, you could do it yourself as well if you want to take it apart. True, but the thing is, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I actually have to look at a YouTube video to make sure I'm not breaking anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know I'm sure I can do it myself, but... Without proper guidance, I don't want to break something that, you know, I pay almost nearly $70 for. Come to think of it, I don't even know how you would open it up. There's no screws or anything, unless if you take this off where the batteries are, unless if it pops right off. I'm not real sure, but like I said, I'll have to, um, I'll have, to, I'll look into that. I'll look at a YouTube video, but other than that, what you see is what you get. My other controller works just fine, but the only reason why I got another controller was because the controller I had previous to this one did this. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. There we go. All right. Let me show you my other controller while I'm thinking about it. I have a closet right here that y'all can see. Give me a sec. See, this is my other controller that um, I started using uh, right when I started streaming. This was like before I became an affiliate. I was using this controller here and I don't know where this piece is. But I'm not exactly sure how or where you unscrew it at or whatnot. But it's still in perfect working condition. If you put batteries in it, I could pop it right in or pop it right in. I could put batteries in it and activate it and sync it up with my PC. Well, see, look. Look at this. It's not doing it now. 
So I guess it, it does it at random. It's never done that before, but probably because I sprayed it with that canned air, it might have done something to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm just only speculating now. I miss okay, I was about to say I'm missing something here. Did I? Hold on. Wait, there's another one. Hold on. I accepted two missions here. We need to... Well, somehow we need to get over there. Let's see here. See if we can go around these golems here. Of course, then one of them's going to come after me. Here's my next destination. Come on. There we go. Get up there. Surveying the area. Cast my thunder on it. There we go. Oh, there it is. Thunder cloud. Oop, I can activate it again, but okay. There we go. Alright, we're good. We can head back. I don't know if y'all got, well, no, y'all guys can't see it because my ugly mug is in the way. I got like uh, 32,500 gil. I'm gonna try to stream for a little bit. Like I said, it's been a while. I'll probably stream for, let's see, what time is it? It's 7.02. I may take the day off tomorrow. It's gonna get even hotter tomorrow, guys, so I'll probably stream again tomorrow. All right. Fire number three. And I learned aspect mastery number three. So let's see here. Let's go see what all that means. Level 35 deals fire damage with a potency of 260. Grants Astro Fire 3 and removes Umbra Ice. Okay. So. Okay, hold on. That's Fire 2. So I'm going to go ahead and change Fire 2 to Fire 3. Just like that. And hold on. Traits, Aspect Mastery 3, allows the stacking of a third Astro Fire, yeah, Astro Fire and Umbra Ice, casting Fire 2 or Blizzard 2 grants maximum stacks of Astro Fire and Umbra Ice, respectively. When maintaining three stacks of Astro Fire and Umbra Ice, the cast time of spells of the opposite element is halved. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. Okay. So I'll be able to head back and do this side quest to further my black mage. But before I do that, let me accept this. Every like five levels, um, you'll get a side quest to further up your um, black mage level. 
where it says right up here, you'll never go back. Well, y'all can't see it, but that's what we're about to go do. We're going to make a short trip to Uda. Yeah, I may stream for a couple of hours. That's what I was trying to say before I leveled up. There we go. The green tea is good. I'm going to have to get me some more. And I got it right here. Just so that I won't have to get up back and forth or anything. Both my kids, they're away spending time with their grandma, my mom, so. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the wrong area. Okay. I need to go to the Miner's Guild. I knew something wasn't right here. By the way, guys, I really appreciate y'all guys kicking it with me for the first 48 minutes of my stream. I really do appreciate it. Like, I do this uh, just in my spare time, guys. I mean, I don't really do this to make money or anything. But uh, whatever y'all decide to donate, I really greatly appreciate it. All the bits and all the subs that y'all donate to me. I just put it right back into the channel so I can make it better. All right. So I'll be able to get Blizzard 3 this time once I pass this trial. These black mages. See, they remind me of VV from Final Fantasy IX. If y'all have ever played Final Fantasy IX, VV is a black mage. Uh, one of Zidane's companions that go with them to stop Kaja from taking over the world. That's who this little fella reminds me of. Okay. So we're gonna go... Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. So I've attuned to Little Owl Migo, so we're going to turn and go here and then travel down. You want to make sure that you have plenty of gill for these transfers. And there's lots of ways, many, many, many ways that you can earn gill in this game. There's like no limit to it. If you get a subclass for a miner you can actually dig up stuff and then post it on the blackboard but you gotta really know what's selling so I would try earth shards, wind shards, ice shards ice shards and uh, wind shards are like top of the line right now if you're in the land of Genova Genova is the server that I'm on right now for Final Fantasy 14 and um, shards like that are heavily on the rise Oh, I need to go. I need to cross the bridge, don't I? Hang on. Yep, I see it. Cool. I don't think this area has increased yet. We'll find out here in a minute. I'm gonna board my um, my bird here, my chocobo. Uh, I don't think it's increased. No, I don't think it has. Oh yeah, I can actually increase my bird to uh, help me attack, hold on, my uh, companion. Rank one. Okay, hold on. Skills. Yeah, I have a SP skill. Defender, healer, and attacker. What I wanna do is first is I wanna do the chocobo regain. That way the next time I level it up, I'll probably do chocobo slash. That way it'll increase it a little bit, you know, increase its uh, attack abilities. All right, everybody's 45 here. Yo, they'll probably kill me for sure.
one thing I don't like about the Chocobo music is that, you know, you should have the obligation to turn it off. I don't like it playing. Uh, let's go this way. If I went further that way, it's going to lead to a dead end. I learned that lesson already. I should be able to get over here. Hold on. Wait a minute. How do I get over there? Oh, are you serious? Is this the dead end? Now, I just told myself not to go over there. Okay, hold on. Okay, cool. I can go around. Let me just run. Ah, uh, that just pissed me off. <laughs> and I just said that I wasn't just supposed to go over there. I cannot talk. and My commentary is lacking, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. All right. By the way, while I'm at it, there's a girl that's on Twitter who uh, actually is following me. She, uh, she wasn't saying this specifically to me, but she was saying that if you really want to get noticed, you don't really want to put that you're going live every single time on your channel because that'll just make people just scroll right through your channel. What you need to do is, is according to her, let me attune here real quick. If you wanna get noticed, uh, you're gonna have to show your personality, show some sort of personality. What do you like in your spare time? What do you do? You know, things like that. And for the longest time, I wasn't really thinking, you know, about that. Now, I would send, you know, a few comments and stuff on there like what I'm doing throughout the day. Like yesterday, I sent me a picture, me waiting on an order sitting in my car. I think y'all saw it. But um, I don't usually post stuff at random on there, but uh, I do get her point, you know. You want people to know what your personality is, you know, what you like to do and things. And uh, I actually respected her for that. I sent her a private message saying thank you because that actually gave me a little bit of an idea of an insight on what to uh, say or anything on there. Because I'm going to just tell you right now, TikTok is my number one thing. I'll be posting videos all the time on there. So uh, I don't really post that much on Twitter unless if I tell y'all that I'm going live. But I see where she's coming from for the most part. I need to go up. Do you have a face? Okay, yeah, he does. I was like, damn. <laughs> what the hell? Tin Man. Can we climb up this hill? Aw, oh, shit. Don't tell me. Can I jump over this? Ah, uh, I should be able to glitch this. Come on, man. There we go. All right, we're good now. All right, level 34. I guess we're going right up there. Oh shit. Level 34. Can we climb this? Can we glitch it? Yes we can. Alright, we're good. Uh, do we want to get rid of those guys first? Yeah, let's get rid of them first. Something's telling me to uh, get rid of them. Ah shit. I'm getting my ass handed down to me. Come on now. Okay.
See, every time he gets ready to attack... See, when you try to cast a spell, you gotta cast it real quick. Because if you don't, you know, you gotta, like, move out of the way. Oh, I got three of those. So that's what that thing meant. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. First thing I want to do is, is I want to cast Thunder. Alright, that's one. That's two. That's three. I got this. There it is. There's the thunder cloud. That's what I was looking for. Uh oh shit. Are you serious? My fire actually is more potent than the uh, ice is for some strange reason, but whatever gets the job done. Whoa! Shit. He respawned back, that one guy there. Let me go down. I'm going down. Fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm like seriously gonna die here. <laughs> I'm running my ass off. Okay. Damn. Okay, let's just run out here real quick. Okay. All I need to do was close the void. Damn. All right, come on now. There's going to be another area in the game where I actually might uh, end up dying here. Come on, glitch it up. Okay. Fuck. Did I get it? Damn. Let me see if I can get him. Come on now, I got this. Okay. Let's finish it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! I really thought I was a, a dead person right there. <sighs> Had to rethink my strategy there. There's no shame in running. If you gotta run, do so. Alright, Miner's Guild. Alright, this way. Um, Blizzard number three, I believe. 
you'll learn a new dark art, Blizzard 3. Let's go ahead and get that equipped. Let's see what the next one is. The next one is Freeze. Deals ice with a potency of 120 to target and all enemies nearby it. Okay. Okay, so we can actually replace um, Blizzard 2 with that. Okay. So the next upcoming raids, the upcoming raids are probably won't be able to use these yet. As a matter of fact, they'll probably uh, gray themselves out. Four eighty five. Damn. I think after that update, they see. Look at that. Look at it going up. <laughs> I'm not touching the analog stick, the right one. I'll be damned. But like I said, I do apologize, guys. Y'all are just going to just have to deal with that. I ran an ad there. It'll come back into focus here in just a second. All right, there we go. Mm, I think I got to go up. No, I got... Hold on. I got to go down. I got to go down. Can I go around you? I can go around you, can I? It's going to be behind this tree. Yeah. I know. Let's try that Blizzard 3. Ooh, check that out. Now that's nice. That is nice. Hold on. That's a lot more damage right there. That is some power. <laughs> Getting stronger. But it takes a whole lot more MP though. That fire was like, what, 2,000? But the blizzard is like 800. So I'm really gonna have to watch the MP because I'm so used to doing Dragoon and uh, white mage and stuff I rarely run out of MP when I use those and then when I do run out of MP with the white mage there's actually a, a element that you can use to replenish your MP almost instantly all right mount speed has been increased awesome So when we go and mount our um, our chocobo, the speed increased here for this area. All right, show a little button to Miss Monet. She is in Gradania. But before we actually go and uh, see her, I'm gonna go to the blackboard and see if there's anything that I can uh, upgrade or anything I can buy. Well, I tell you what. Let me go to the um, the armorer first. The only reason why I go to the blackboard is to upgrade my weapons and shit. Alright, hang on. I'm getting turned around here. Alright, here we go. We actually need to go down there, but we're gonna go up here.
see this is the blackboard where I need to go but um, we're gonna go to the independent tailor magic gear purchase gear 30 to 39 tell you what let's sell our silver pieces half this shit or all of it I don't normally use chicken egg animal hide honey I'm not gonna use it nor the antidote tin ore that's for uh, a dragoon ice band I won't need that Shit. Okay, there we go. Make some room in my inventory here. Level 27, level 26. You really want to pay attention to the item level, not the actual level. There is a, uh, where it says level 26, where it says all classes. If you look where it says all classes and look below, I don't pay attention to that number. I pay attention to the actual item level. Fallen Fray, thank you for that like on my Twitter. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't know if these people are following me on Twitch, but I appreciate that. If they actually go back and re-watch this when I go to upload it on YouTube, uh, I don't want to miss anybody. Oh shit, hang on. Okay, uh, let's see, I'm level 35. I can actually get this for 3,099. So let's go ahead and get that. Now that's the linen robe that's level 36, so I can't afford that yet. The ring bands are also 36. As the tights, ah damn. The uh, toad skin, I can actually get those. So let's put those on real quick. We'll put the glasses on. And as you can see where the star is, where it says 25, if you look to the left of the uh, that little finger there, it shows you the actual um, item level. As long as you increase that, the higher it is, the more chances of survival you'll have. Uh, so, the duck bills, they're item level 35. So watch that blue 25, it should increase. No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't, so um, that's okay. Let's go to the blackboard and see if we can get some weapons. The Vintage Cordial, or whatever the fuck that is. That's a lot of money, but uh, the item level is 38. So uh, I'll probably be keeping that for a while. So we're going to go ahead and purchase it. Let's go ahead and load it up. Now this should increase my level. See, it went from 25 to 26. So that's actually pretty damn good. Now I'm actually gonna go back to the blackboard and see if I can actually see if they have any level 35 shit. That's an apprentice doublet. I don't need that. Let's see what else they have. Nope. Nothing worth taking. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to Miss Monet. At least we tried. But hey, we got a weapon out of it. We got uh, new glasses and some shoes. So that's good enough for right now. You always want to keep your uh, player upgraded to the best of their abilities. Because there's going to be some upcoming bosses that are really gonna fuck you up, literally fuck you up, if you're not prepared. And since I'm a black mage, um, it's always good to have high potion on hand. All right. 
I believe there's going to be an upcoming raid coming up. And uh, while I wait on that raid, I'll probably take a little bit of a break. But I'll do that as soon as we get to it. Right now, we're trying to find some information about this coin. Lancer's Guild. All right, we'll just warp there. What the hell? It's all over the place. See, I wasn't pushing any buttons when it was glitching like that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look up a YouTube video on how to fix um, controllers like these. here and there is our next raid guys right here that's level 28 I'm not gonna need it but I can sell it I can actually go to the um, the um, twin adder and uh, sell it for some shit. Seek entry. Yeah, let's go to um, Bent Branch Meadows. I'm actually going to leave that on screen. That way I know where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm going, but... I'm going to leave that map up. See, i got to go way above there. I could do this little challenge right here, but... As you can see, that's level 7... I'm level 35, so. <laughs> you know, I actually probably could do my chocobo in here. Yes, I can. I can go ahead and put that map up. We got a Marlboro up ahead. That's a big one. But we're not going there. We're going right here. have our next raid now we can do one of two ways uh, we can either do a party of NPCs which means random players well computerized players or we can actually wait for um, other players real actual players that play with us so we're actually going to be doing that instead other parties recruiting level is 38 so uh, supposedly the wait time is nine minutes, so we'll see. But as of right now, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break. And uh, if we happen to access this raid while I'm on break, I'll race in here and then we'll get started with this raid. But anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Give me just a little bit.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry for the wait there. There it is. Alright. Yeah, I was asking you, Hollywood, if you was um, building a PC. I think you told me a couple days back or several weeks ago that you was in the process of doing that or getting the parts. Alright. That was actually well worth the wait. That's one of the downfalls about doing raids is you actually have to wait for other players to um, to play. I think that's why they added the NPC system. That way you can just randomly pick people or players, computerized players. But I don't like playing with them. I like playing with real life people. I was going to do just a PC in a case, but it's cheaper to just add a new Mobo as well. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, that is the cheaper route, but I like to, like, you know, get banked for my buck if that makes sense. Yeah, I think those are grayed out. Yep, I can't use them. I can't use Fire 3 or Blizzard 3, which is fine. I can use my thunder, my thunder too. My job as a black mage is basically to help DPS. following you. Hold on, where are you going? Dude! Where are you? Oh, he wants to fight everything. I'm about to say, wh why are you uh, going the wrong direction? You're going the opposite direction of where you're supposed to be going. Sorry guys, I know y'all are talking to each other, Jet Keys and Hollywood. You wanted a Ryzen 7? That's actually what I have installed. See, the ones that I have, uh, the parts, they're customizable parts. I can actually take the base apart and take the actual parts out and then replace it with something new. I may replace my coolant system for an upgrade.
a six fan case instead of a two fan. Nice. I actually may replace that as well, but I need to see how much it is. You really feel like a dummy with eye power after all these years, but gotta start somewhere. Hey man, don't worry about that. Like you said, you gotta start somewhere, don't worry about it. Here's the first mini boss of this area. First boss down. Oh shit, where am I going? <laughs> Damn, I'm going the wrong way. Down we go. Okay, so that happened. Sorry guys if I'm not talking a lot. I really need to concentrate on the raids and stuff. Normally I would be talking if it was just a normal mission. So uh, my apologies there. I was wondering we were gonna start pulling. We necessarily don't need to come in here. Allergies are starting to bother me. That's why I'll keep wiping my eyes. It's usually my right eye here. But I'm gonna keep going. Alright, 
we're coming up on the second mini boss. One thing about being a mage is, is you can cast spells from a distance. And I really like that. You don't have to get up close like a dragoon or a marauder or anything. So I can use that to my advantage. This boss, we're gonna have to warp to the front or uh, to the beginning of the uh, stage, the beginning of the raid. Or not. Wait a minute. Just a second. Really? Normally you would uh, have to return or teleport to the beginning of it. So I guess that's what that update was. Well, that's a change. That is a hell of a change there. Okay. That was the whole main reason why I had it on in the first place. They put an ethereal flow right at the end of it. Now we're going to the main boss. I'm waiting on y'all, come on. Nobody was looking at the uh, at the uh, scene, so I don't know why everybody was just standing there looking crazy. Oh, I won't be able to block that. just right there. Screaming her ass off. She put me in stone, but it leveled me up. Accommodation, which is good. All right.
I'll go ahead and let this play. Report back. Okay. So that puts me at level 36. And yeah, you can play these raids as many times as you want to. You can play them to your heart's content. But the thing about it is, is you're either going to have to wait to play with real players, actual players, or play with the computer NPCs. So that's one way that you can rank up your gill is by participating in raids and shit like that. Alright, which is the closest? Uh, I need to go there, so Lancer's Guild it is. around the corner. It'd be nice if we could ride our chocobos in this area. Or at least in Gridania. Port to Menphilia. We gotta go to Vesper Bay. I'm glad we have these uh, Athelia right tickets. The best thing to happen in here. Happy Monday. Hey, well, hey, happy Monday to you too, my, my dude. Any movie recommendations for you? Well, I would say hands down Top Gun Maverick. Because uh, it hasn't came out on DVD or Blu-ray or anything like that. And it hasn't streamed yet on Vudu. But I would, I would say either Top Gun Maverick or any of the Avenger movies or Fast and Furious one of those three but my number one is Top Gun Maverick I so cannot wait till that comes out I'll be one of the first people in Walmart to get it I'll go see Top Gun Ma hell yeah I'm, I'm telling you dude I'm, let me explain something to you the 1988 or 19 is it 1986 that when it came out or 1986 I'm not real sure but Top Gun was the very first movie that I ever looked at as a child the very first movie and see I was born in 1984 but that was the first movie of all time that I actually watched probably stream on, on Paramount Plus uh possibly but it's also gonna come out on Voodoo also. Came out in 86, so yeah, I was two. I was two years old, because I remember, I can go as far as four, but according to my father, I was in the living room, I was on the floor on my blanket and stuff, eating popcorn. And my father was in his recliner when it premiered, when um, he had the VHS of it. And it, it was, I'm telling you, that was such a, epic movie when it came out after all these years 20 something odd years actually 30 something odd years the maelstrom requests our assistance concerning the kobolds they sent such codes we got voice acting i presume yes and 
No. no. It has, it has more, more to do with their findings, which, which portend a peril far greater than an enemy beast tribe. Just a quick insert before I let this play out is when I went to go see it the first time in theaters, at the end of the movie, I, I'm not going to lie, I cried. Y'all can call me a bitch if y'all want to, but I was so emotional at the end of that new movie because, see, my dad, God rest his soul, he's passed away. He passed on. And I felt like he was watching it with me. You know, I felt his presence when I was watching that movie, and which is why I seen it dozens of other times. I went and I seen it eight times, but, you know, I'm just saying. But uh, it was such an epic moment. What, what sort, sort of peril? peril? The, the worst, worst kind. A, a tribe, tribe of the kobolds in the vicinity of Nimsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Titan. Our, Our task will be to slay the primal. The maelstrom has sworn support for the endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, Two primals, primals Leviathan, Leviathan and Titan, Titan chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the navigator, were the mercenaries Merlin hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The maelstroms kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have vested in him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and the mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity, a pity the kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. So, so you, you will accept? accept? Thank, Thank you. you. Highway to he dangers on what? What are you saying? Who is hotter, the woman from the first or Maverick? Uh ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say the second. I would say Maverick. Um, what's her name? Uh, something Benjamin. I forgot her name. Uh, Pentley Benjamin or something. Shit. But uh, actually, that's referenced in the original Top Gun when Goose and Maverick go into um, the sergeant's office. And um, when they're being grounded or being yelled at and everything, Peter Benjamin or something, Goose, um, it was the Admiral's daughter. And uh, Goose whispers to Maverick, you know, is it Peter Benjamin or Bentley Benjamin or something? Jennifer Connelly? Okay. Cool. Well, you know who I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, that, that's her. That's her. But, uh, yeah, she's the hot one. I would say that one. I would say Michelle Gills. Michelle Gills, she actually she played um, Charlie in the first Top Gun. You know, it would really would have been nice if they would have brought her back as an instructor or something. 
because you know they brought back you know Vel Kilmer who played Ice, um, Iceman. It would have been real nice if uh, she would have portrayed her character again. We can't, we can't very, very well send him to Limsolo Minso without your stoma, can we, Linfilia? May I ask that of you, Gastona? Okay, we're fast forwarding that. Needless to say, we need to take down Titan. That's going to be another raid. But instead of four people, it's going to be ten. Ten of us, I believe. But in any case... She said they didn't because she looks old and fat. What? Oh, come on. So? So? Look at Tom Cruise. <laughs> I mean, he's not exactly spring chicken, but, you know, still. I mean, he looked the part. She has gained a considerable amount of weight. There, there's, you know, no question about that. All right, we need to go to the after castle. Okay, cool. Shit. Okay. It still would have been nice, though. I mean, hell, look at uh, look at Val Kilmer. And he couldn't really speak. You know, he actually had what lung cancer. Rebecca, what? did Val Kilmer have lung cancer, which enabled him to not speak? Oh, <laughs> I gotta ask my wife. Val Kilmer that played Iceman in Top Gun Maverick. What was the reason for him not speaking? Did he have throat cancer, lung cancer? Okay, well, well we're talking about it, so yeah. I think that's what that was. I mean, they brought him back and uh, look, look at him, look at how he was. But in real life, I don't think that he can speak. I don't, when he was, well, spoiler alert, I don't, you know, want to spoil things for you, Jet Keys, but I don't think that was his actual voice, I don't think, in the movie. There's been a lot of speculation, rather, if that was him actually speaking or not. Yes, he has to speak with that box thing. Okay, got you. I mean, as many times as I've seen it, I didn't really, you know, research it. You know, a lot of people were speculating about it and then they got to looking into it. Me personally, I don't care. I mean, it was like a dream come true seeing both of them. But Michelle Gills, I really wish that she would um, showed up. That was the only downfall. Ah, shit. I don't have this area. And I don't have that area. I don't have this area. Neat. Oh, damn. I am going to be up for quite the trip. So what I want to do is, is I want to leave here, come down here. I want to be able to come down here in a tune here and then make my way back here. Damn, that's going to be a hell of a damn trip. But we're going to do it. After all, I ain't got shit else to do. My kids are at my mom's house and it's just me and my wife here. So, hey. I got nothing better else to do. But yeah, guys, Top Gun was my very first movie I watched as a kid. I still have the, um, call me crazy, but I still have the VHS. I still have it. It's at my mother's house, but we still have it. Of course, they've come out with DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. Yeah, don't get me wrong. But it just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel right. To me, personally, it doesn't feel right to put it on Blu-ray. Not the original. But I do have... Um, I have it on my Voodoo. I have it on Blu-ray. And I have it on VHS. Call me crazy. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. hate making this detour but I'm going to to get ahead in the game and to make this game a lot easier I'm gonna attune to these etherites etherites I think that's how they're pronounced 
I call that crazy. Yeah, it is. But you know, it it's just one of it, it's very sacred to me. It's a sacred moment for me. I don't have any other movie on VHS besides that one. Oh, it won't let me jump down there. Oh shit! Come on, man. That's bullshit. What? Oh, you'll let me come this way, but you won't let me go the other way? Come on, man. I'm gonna leave that map up. All right, now we can attune to that. Now we're gonna go to our location, which is back up there. Oh, I can't stand this chocobo music. There's got to be a way to shut that off. Tom Cruise really looks good, though, to almost be 60. What is he, 59? You know what? Let's just jump right into it. What is your favorite Tom Cruise movie of all time? Y'all already know mine. Mine's Top Gun, hands down. What's y'all's favorite Tom Cruise movie? Shit, I can't go in there. What the fuck? I got a lot of 1980 favorable movies. Collateral, starring him and Jamie Foxx. Yeah, I know who I know who you're talking about. If I had to pick a second movie, you know, because we all know Top Gun's on the top of my pedestal, I would have to say <sighs> it's in between Risky Business and Days of Thunder, but I'm gonna say Days of Thunder. I'm going to put that up right. I think that would be my second favorite. He's actually had quite a bit of a few movies out, and then he came out with the uh, Mission Impossible saga. Personally, I like the second one, the second Mission Impossible movie. And that second movie made him look like James Bond. Eyes wide shut if you're into that freaky stuff. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad movie, but I would, you know, that's a lot, that's not like my top, you know. I don't think he was good in that. Jack, yeah, Jack Reacher. I wasn't even thinking about that actually. That actually was a pretty good movie. But as you say, it wasn't his best. Let me get that map off of there. We're gonna fast forward. I gotta do some bullshit work for him. He acts like he's too, too great or too good to do his work. But yeah, they actually had some good 80s movies out there. Like, you know, the Rocky franchises, uh, Cliffhanger, Rambo, um, had some good Arnold Schwarzenegger movies too, like Total Recall. See, y'all got me on an old school reminiscing trip now. The Breakfast Club, Footloose. Can't forget about Footloose. What the hell is this? I cast that. All right, there we go. What the fuck was up with that? Okay, there we go. You've never seen Point Break? Oh, my dude, are you serious? That's a pretty good, it's a good movie. I don't want to spoil it. But it's a pretty good damn movie. Can't forget Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The 90s versions. The early, early 90s versions. I don't like that 2000 and... Shit, I, I, mm -mm. 
but of course they have to keep up the uh, keep up with the times. Also, since we're all into movies now, um, which one is y'all's favorite Spider-Man movies? Tobey Maguire or the one that newest one that does Spider-Man No Way Home and all that bullshit, the up-to-date one? Me personally, Tobey Maguire, he's the actual real Spider-Man for me. That's just me. I think nobody does it like Tobey Maguire. Which, here's a fun fact. In Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire, when he um, fought Otto Octavius, remember him? He actually shows up in Spider-Man No Way Home. Otto Octavius is actually back but he shows up in that movie. At the end of Spider-Man 2, it shows him drowning in the lake or in the river. But uh, it's kind of crazy that they brought him back. I don't know why they did, but uh, that was a bit of a plot twist. But it was nice that they brought him back. That was actually pretty cool. But then again, I'm not a real huge Spider-Man fan. All right, what we got next? Uh, we're gonna fast forward here. We're gonna have a competition now. We gotta be the first one to destroy this boulder before he does. I don't know why I'm casting thunder, but I'm gonna go to it anyway. Why not? See, he's gonna cheat now. Cheat Naz. See, he cast Paralyze on me. He's got a small ass boulder and I got a big one. Come on now. Come on now. All right, we're good now. Let's get out of his way. He planted a bomb, so now we gotta take out that bomb before it explodes. What a coward! 15 seconds. Yeah, we got it. We got this. Alright, we're good. Let's get back here. Home stretch, baby. We beat his cheating ass. We're gonna fast forward. Now that we took care of that traitor, we need to travel to Costa de Sol, where we're gonna meet the real master of the uh, Grand Companies or whatever the hell that dude's name is. There we go. I watched a Woody Allen movie last week. I think that is more 70s. 
It's got to be because I've never, I've never heard of it. Honestly, I've never heard of it. Now, I've watched Casablanca. I've watched movies, uh, The Color Purple, Pulp Fiction. Uh, now, I think everybody, I think everyone can testify to The Wizard of Oz. I think we've all seen The Wizard of Oz. He's a weird dude, I think. <laughs> it was called Annie Hall. I think I may have heard of that. Annie Hall. But I can't recall, though. See, I only watch movies that interest me. And right now, that's that one's not ringing a bell. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I need to attune to that first. Yeah, I'm a movie lover. I love watching movies. That was all the things that me and my dad did as a kid growing up. You know, we went to the lake, listened to music, uh, watched movies. You know, we took trips. But uh, movies was like our main calling there, especially action-packed movies. He introduced me to movie watching at a very, very young age. I'm not going to go through this whole dialogue. Level 37. All right. Basically, we're going to have to do some tasks. In order to uh, get the information for Titan, we're going to have to perform a series of quests for him, which is bullshit. But what can you do? You aim to watch two films a week. Dude. I haven't really watched any movies ever since Shark Month came. You know, between me working the gig economy, you know, trying to meet a certain quota, um, I rarely watch TV. You can ask my wife, her as of late, I have not really watched anything. Hey, Crease, what's going on? Let me send you a shout out. How's it going? I hope you had a wonderful day. Mine was a pretty much a good hot one. It's been hot all week. Oh shit. My last two I watched was Blade Runner 2049 and Shaun of the Dead. Really? <laughs> the last actual movie I actually watched um, was Jaws. <laughs> because of Shark Month. Because it's on. But then again, y'all already know me. I love old school. Dark Blue Link. What is going on? Hold on. I'll send you a shout out here in just a second as soon as I whoop his ass. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm just trying to stay cool. We got a whole lot of degree temperature here. We're in the triple digits, man. All right, hold on. Let me send you a shout out. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming in here. Everybody's just now coming in. All right, you've been playing Luigi's Mansion. Awesome. Do I play Fortnite? Honestly, I do not, but I do have a good friend of mine. His name is Hollywood. He is actually on here. He loves Fortnite. He's been playing it. Um, I don't know if he's been playing it recently, but uh, he does love Fortnite. He plays that quite a bit. So uh, you can just ask my dude in here in the chat. My son, my oldest son, he uh, plays Fortnite, but her as of late, he's been playing a lot of Roblox. And I will say I've been playing a little bit of it too. Not a lot, but I've been playing some. It's actually kind of interesting. As a matter of fact, now that my kids are at my grandma or my grandma's, at my mom's house, I may actually play a little bit of it tonight off stream. I finally got on a date. Oh, really? 
Did it take you a while? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so who are you going on a date with? If you don't mind me asking. What's my favorite Roblox game? It's that, uh, I do, I'm not sure what it's called, but it has something to do with building mansions. It's like a mansion where you go in, you accumulate money from your mailbox, and then you go and upgrade your mansion and stuff before you can move on to the next one. My son, my young son, actually introduced me to that. So I'm actually working on that right now. It doesn't make sense to me, but uh, there's also another one called Broken Bones or Fallen Bones or something like that. Um, I've been playing that too. Not more than the, uh, the mansion one, but I've been playing that one too. As crazy as that is. All right. This lady named Hannah, I'm taking her to the zoo, then out to Hibachi. Oh, really? All right, then. You go, you just, you go, man. I'm glad that you're able to take her out on a date and everything. That's, that's awesome. You dropping some money on that date? Well, you would think he would. <laughs> you know, women aren't cheap. I did say that out loud. Women aren't cheap. <laughs> My wife heard me. <laughs> You're in easy over a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Not you know. A, a, a good date, you know, I would say anywhere between seventy-five to a hundred bucks. You know, you, you treat them to a dinner, you treat them to a movie. But see, that, that that's, you know, old school. Dinner and a movie's old school. You know, you want to, you know, do something a little different, you know. Like, if you want to go to a movie, you know, take her, you know, take her to a movie, but take her to a more sophisticated, I guess, type movie. You know, I guess it just really depends on what movie you're going to go look at. And then as far as dinner goes, I mean, why don't you cook her dinner? instead of going to a restaurant you know let you know at least it'll let her know that you can cook you know what i'm saying but see to do that you would actually have to take her to your house now if you're not prepared to take her to your house then of course you may want to take her to an expensive restaurant or something like that women's pick yeah women are indeed picky they are picky but like you know it just really depends on how old school you want to take it you know serenade your woman sing her a song you know get to work in those hands massaging my dude i'm just, well you won't be doing that until after a couple of dates but you know i'm just saying <laughs> all right i'm talking too much now <laughs> but no that you know that's old school you know I, I i did that you know there's nothing you know really old school about it but you know We've made plans on that. <laughs> Sounds like he trying to smash. Nah, uh -uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Never on the first, second, or even third date. You, you know, if you want to make a good impression, I would just, you know, if does she live at home? Does she live with her parents? Because if she does, if she don't have a house of her own or apartment or whatnot, then I would definitely... Um, go to the door and knock and ask for the father and you know say hey can I take your daughter out I find your daughter interesting and you know and then just go from there sweatsuits what's going on <laughs> she got that fire couch <laughs> oh man I don't see you on here where are you there you are awesome I ah, appreciate that sweatsuits. Thank you for that follow. I hope your day's going good. It's been hot over here. Oh, she's by herself. She lives. Up. Okay, cool. So she got her own crib. So that's that's actually pretty good. So the only thing I gotta say is is uh, you better come correct because see most most women ain't for that foolishness. They ain't for that shit. You know you can't smooth jive your way into um, you know into a woman's heart. Because a woman can see past that. If, if a woman, and I'm talking about a real woman, has had good upbringing, 
She knows all the pickup lines and all that shit, I'm telling you. It's hot here too, down in the UK. It's hot everywhere. It, it's the whole world. You know, if you're near the equator, it's one thing being near the equator. We're like in, in the triple digits. Let's see, it's 831 right now. Let's see how hot it is. It's been hot all for the past two weeks. Right now we're at 100 degrees. It was 107 about an hour and a half ago. So the temperature is decreasing. We're still in the triple digits. Damn. <laughs> but um, like I said, um, just take her out on a date. Treat, if, as long as you treat her right and be honest with her, be truthful, you got it in the bag. That's, you know, communication is key. That's 100% of what counts. But in all seriousness, I'm excited to see her and have fun time at the zoo. Oh, yeah, do go for it. Best first idea. Yeah, I cannot read. Best first date ideas. Um, best first date ideas is just to meet in a mutual place. Meet at a local restaurant. You know, something that's not too expensive, but something that's not too cheap. If you catch my drift, you know. That way she's not uncomfortable, you're not uncomfortable, y'all are in public, and uh, that way y'all be able to get to know each other. That would be my ideal for a first date. Because you want to be able to get to know a person of who you're dating. 100%. Speaking of her, she just messaged me. Oh, okay, so y'all have already exchanged phone numbers and stuff. Okay. That's a good deal. If you don't mind me asking, how old is this girl? Me and my wife's first date was church in Chipotle. Hey, my dude right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's actually not a bad idea, you know. But see, you don't know if they're religious or not. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. See, that's why it's always good to get to know someone first before you take the next step further. Twenty-two, and I'll be twenty-two in October. All right, my dude. Well, happy early, early, early birthday. See, my birthday's in October, also October eighth. See, I'm a Libra. My zodiac sign. See, I'll be I'll be thirty-eight. As crazy as that sounds, I will be thirty-eight years old. Young guns. Yep. Well, well, he's 22 years old too, so you know, hey, that's that's a you know pretty good matchup right there. Not like me being old school and everything. He ain't old like me. Getting those birds makes me miss my free man days. <laughs> October 18th, hey, my dude. It is what it is. Yeah, it kind of makes me miss those days too, but I'm not going to lie. I was <laughs> I was a piece of work. I was a piece of work when I was growing up. I was chasing skirts, you know, missing going in girls bathrooms when I was in school and stuff. I <laughs> I was bad. Oh, I was bad. I used to have pickup lines too, you know, just just to get a girl. But see, it it didn't really take rocket science when it came to women. You know, at least back in my day. She messaged you again. So evidently y'all are texting each other, which is good, you know, personal. You know, you don't have to let us know what y'all are saying. Go away! Okay, there we go. See, it got crazy to the point to where I actually, uh, there was me and a girl. We were in high school. Uh, I had a uh, 1992 Ford Escort. It was a 92 Ford Escort. And we went to the lake. And um, just out of nowhere, this girl was crazy. But she was cool. Because uh, we were sitting there. We were talking, eating popcorn and stuff like that. Just chilling, listening to the boom box that I had. And uh, she decides to get out the car. 
go into the lake and go skinny dipping. So I was like, oh shit, girl, what the hell? And we didn't have towels, so I was like, you know what, hell, why not? We just went skinny dipping. <laughs> Those were the good days. Oh shit, hold on, what, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. Slinging that thing at the lake. H hell yeah! I'm not gonna lie. I sure ain't, but see, that was in my crazy days. I mean, I was shit. <laughs> 16, 17 years of age, man. But I wouldn't take those days back for nothing. We are talking. If the date goes well, we'll officially get together. Wait a minute. So y'all aren't officially together yet? Is that what's going on here? I just want to make sure that uh, I know what's happening here. You know, dating a girl is one thing, but being exclusive or making it official is a completely different level. Make sure that y'all have the same, you know, at least something in common. You want to make sure that you have something in common. Chemistry. You know, I can actually fast travel back, back over here. Fuck it. That's a hundred gil gone, but that's cool. Make sure you rep your Jimmy, lad. Don't, <laughs> don't want to have little ones running around. Hey, sweatsuit speaks the truth. I mean, you know, carry a couple of Jimmy hats with you, man. If not one, several. But I would not really do anything yet because I don't think they even made it official yet. But just in case, if something goes there, you know, get your wallet out, put it in there. I think every guy can testify we've had condoms in our wallet, just in case of an emergency. I know I have. I'll be the first one to tell you. Because you never know nowadays what people have, especially with the economy where it's at right now. What if you times make the birds want more? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he's allergic to latex. Uh oh. Well, they actually have some that don't have uh, the latex to it. The lubricant. There's actual. There, there's ways that you can uh, go around that. <laughs> Y'all are getting me riled up. <laughs> well, at least we're having a good conversation. I have some already. Oh, okay, cool, man. Just keep keep them on hand. But I wouldn't do anything the first several days. That's just me. That's just me. You don't want to end up like some of us that uh, just hit it and quit it. I'm not going to lie. I was that guy. I was that teenage guy that would hit it and quit it and just move on to the next one. But, you know, I, I was in the playing field. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, no strings attached. It's kind of hard to find a girl who you can just have, I guess you could say friends with benefits back then. No strings attached that don't have feelings caught up in the middle. But, uh, that was basically my teenage life right there. I had good grades and everything. I was a straight A student. I was an honor student. So, you know, when it came to school and everything, you know, I was good. It was just, I was a... I was a horny bastard. <laughs> I'll just say it. I don't care. I was a horny little bastard back then. I'm married now, so I'm not worried about it. But, oh, okay, cool. Well, hey, I am too. I am too. 11 years, as a matter of fact, 11 years, the 9th of this month. We've been married 11 years. We celebrated our 11 year anniversary. And something else, um, there's something about when you have children, it kind of makes you uh, make different choices, too, in your life. You know, it kind of, it slows you down. Because I never thought in a million years that I would be married. Never. They've been good years. Oh, yeah. Wonderful years. I mean, we've, uh... We've had our ups, we've had our downs. You know, marriage isn't perfect. It's it's one of those things that you gotta work at. It's a very sacred, yeah. 
Again, I can't talk. It's a very sacred thing, and no one should enter marriage lightly. Y'all shouldn't take marriage lightly. Yeah, marriage is one of those things that, you know, it's all about communicating. You've really, even in a relationship, whatever relationship, dating, communication is key, 100%. By the way, guys, I'm going to just do a quick insert here. Uh, if y'all would like to know what I'm doing outside of my streams, I do have uh, my Twitch channel as well as my Twitter and my TikTok. If you want to scroll down and hit those icons and uh, follow me on TikTok as well as Twitter, it'll just keep y'all updated on what I do throughout the day when I'm not streaming. I try to update my channels and all that shit. But my popular ones is indeed Twitter and TikTok. As a matter of fact, I think I did a video on TikTok yesterday, if not today. I do the gig economy during the day, so I do be posting daily videos on there. Why would they do that? Why would you have a bonus right here in front of the damn door? Yeah, go on over there. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going in the wrong area. That makes no sense, that right there. By the way, I also post updates on when I stream next on my uh, Twitter page. So if you want to catch me on when I um, stream next, hit that follow button there for me. Show me some love. Where am I going? Oh, okay. I'm trying to build my brand up. Uh, I don't have a Discord. Honestly, I really don't know how Discord works. I heard it was a community where people come in and just chat about bullshit. I do that on um, Twitter and TikTok. All right. It's actually starting to cool off outside now. I want to do Titan now. Come on, man. <laughs> Damn, all these missions. All right, hold on. Okay, I gotta go up there. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all are enjoying uh, the content that I have on here. There's gonna be plenty more where this comes from. Now, I don't know, I don't have a certain day or a certain time when I stream, cause um, it really just depends on if I meet my quota or not during the day when I work the gig economy. I don't wanna have to hold myself down to a schedule that I can't commit to. So with that being said, um, like I said, I update my Twitter on when I go live and whatnot. So if y'all want to know when I um, go up and running, just hit me up on my Twitter. Oh, okay, I need to go over here. This is actually, for a while, this is actually the longest that I've streamed in a good while. I usually do about an hour and a half, and I'm like way past that mark. I'm going to see what the temperature is again here in a minute. It is. Well, we dropped the temperature. We're 99 degrees. <laughs> and it's 846. Ah, oh, damn. Eight forty six, and it's still hot outside. By the way, guys, if y'all are looking for a cheaper deal, if y'all are like looking to purchase clothes or any type of merchandise, I would buy 
uh, like for example, it's summertime, it's hot. I would purchase a heater and all that stuff during the during the summertime because it's a lot cheaper to buy it uh, during this type of season than waiting in the winter time to getting it. Like if you get your winter clothes and windbreakers and jackets and stuff during the summer, it's a hell of a lot cheaper to get it now than to wait when it gets cold outside because that, that's what I do. You know, I'm the opposite. You know, I buy things when it's cold outside. Like if it's cold outside, I buy my shorts, um, all kinds of shit, you know, during that season. I don't know. I just thought about that. I don't know why. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, I wanted to do that first. Okay, I'll come back to it. There's actually a raid that's we're going to be doing. Another raid. All right. Yep. I probably won't do it. Give me a second here. I want to make sure it's here. All right, it is right there. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream for right now. I'm actually going to go around and um, attune to that Athelia right. And then I'm going to see who else I can raid tonight. I actually had a pretty good stream tonight. I appreciate everybody that came through. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for that. Hopefully, I will continue to have y'all support and everything. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow or not. I'm not real sure. But if you want to check up for my updates on when I do stream next, please go to my either my TikTok or my Twitter. Usually, my Twitter, I update everything through that. And I can't stress that enough. I'm actually going to see who's actually online for me to raid. My girl Mental Ferox, I don't know if she's on. She's actually been going through some things. I'm not going to talk about her personal life or anything, but she's been going through some stuff. And uh, if she's actually on, I'm actually going to take y'all to her. She's a real good streamer. She's actually one of the ones that actually helped me become affiliate. She's a real good streamer. She likes to play retro games, anything modern, mostly retro. You know, she loves Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. She does uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, all that good stuff. So let me see if she is actually on. Let me see who's on. Do, 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 do. Really, no one is actually on. Well, that's interesting. Nobody is on right now. Well, that's cool. Well, in any case, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Uh, sweatsuits, jet keys, crease, dark blue link. Uh, I appreciate all of y'all. Hollywood, my dude, I appreciate y'all for getting on here, showing me some love. I don't think anybody else was on here. I'm going through my chat right now. I just want to make sure I didn't forget anybody. Yeah, I think that's everybody. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, like I said, if you want to find out when I stream next, um, hook, um, get with me on Twitter and uh, look up for my updates there. Also, subscribe to my TikTok. Um, follow me on there. You can also follow me, of course, on uh, Twitter and all that, Facebook. All of the icons are down below on my channel. But anyway, guys, I will see y'all guys next time. Y'all take it easy. Stay cool. Drink plenty of water. I'll see y'all guys next time.